Hello and welcome, this is Agent XP, and welcome back to another tutorial, but this time a tutorial with a difference. Today I am going to show you how to make transition textures utilising Adobe Photoshop. Now if you haven't got Photoshop, you can do exactly the same thing using a free software package which is called GIMP and I will include a link to the website where you can download that in the description. So if you can't afford to buy Adobe Photoshop, fear not, you can still do what I'm doing here using a free software package. And the process is very similar. I'm going to start off by finding the texture set that I want to work with in my Windows folder and I'm going to click and drag that into Photoshop. You can also use the traditional file open method as well, but I prefer to just click and drag. And it's handy to have our texture folder open on our menu so that we can click and drag different images in. So we have here a texture set and it's one of my texture sets that I've created. And what I'm going to do is show you how to make a transition texture between two existing textures. So what I start off by doing is going to file and clicking new and what we want to do is create a new canvas and we're going to want to make sure it's the right size. So what I tend to do is have a tile or a canvas that is the size of one square on the texture palette. So the dimensions you want for this is 128 by 128 pixels if you're working with HD textures in the level editor. You could also have 64 or 256 pixels, but I tend to work with mainly 128 by 128 pixel squares. So we're going to set our width and height to the correct size and we're going to go OK. And that is going to give us a canvas that is the size of a level editor square. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to find the two textures that I want to create a transition between. So let's imagine that I want to create a transition between a stone floor and grass. That is a very common one. So I'm going to pick here a nice stone floor texture. I'm going to drag it in to my canvas and I'm going to make sure that I have just that texture in the middle of the canvas. So you want to very carefully position it, make sure you do not have any of the top or the bottom of the textures above and below showing. It can be a little tricky sometimes but it, you, sometimes you might have to zoom in and check that you've not got any of the other textures but that's okay. So once you've got your texture in position you then want to scroll up and find the other texture that you want to uh, work with. So we're going to click and drag on the grass and I'm going to pop that on top of the stone texture, like so. And in order to create transitions, the most important thing that you need to pay attention to is the layers. So we have here on the right hand side our layer panel and we have layer 1 which is the stone and layer 2 which is the grass. The way I tend to do this is I tend to have the grass on top of the stone if it's the grass that I am wanting to transition. It's generally easier to create a transition on the organic layer. So if you're layering an organic texture over a man-made one, I tend to create the actual transition on the organic because it's a lot easier that way. So what we're going to do now is make sure that we have the grass layer selected and we are going to select an eraser tool. It doesn't matter whether you're using Photoshop or GIMP for this, you just select an eraser tool, both packages will have one. And what we're going to do is come up to the options at the top and we're going to make sure we've got a blurred edge brush selected. And we're going to sort of play around with the size until you're comfortable with the size. And don't have it too big, but don't have it too small either because it'll take forever. What we can do here is make our canvas a bit bigger and zoom in. It can be easier to see if you zoom in a little. Select the eraser again. And what we want to do is use the eraser. And now we're going to start rubbing out the texture in a sort of diagonal line from the corner. 
The most important thing to remember when you're creating these transitions is to not take the texture over into the other half of the segment. Try and picture in your head that there's a diagonal line going from corner to corner and in order to get a smooth match on the transition you need to not take the eraser tool over into the other half of the texture on the corners. You can in the middle, that's fine, but if you want the edges of the texture to match nicely do not take the eraser tool past the corner. In fact I did a little bit there so what I'm going to do is press Control Z to undo and we're going to try that again. So rub out the corner once again I did that a little bit sloppily that's cool. So once I've done the corners I have erased the corner parts of the texture. I am now going to take my eraser tool along the edges like so to make sure that there's no overlap on the edges. So what I've essentially done is drawn a line around the outer edge of the texture and now what we're going to do is start blending the middle section. So I'm going to take a few chunks out of the texture using the big eraser and then I'm going to switch my brush to a smaller size and I'm going to start taking smaller bits out and if you just click around in a random pattern like I'm doing, as you can see, that has now created a nice blend between the two textures. And you can also use the smaller eraser to make sure that you've done the corners properly. Make sure that the edges are all erased. So you have one edge of one texture, one edge of the other. Because sometimes it's quite easy to leave little ghosts along the edge and then when you put the two textures next to each other then you will get random blobs and hard edges of the texture that you've rubbed out and that doesn't look cool. So that is basically it. We have now created a diagonal transition texture and that's looking very cool. The next thing you're going to want to do is save this texture and I normally save it as a JPEG file but you can save it as a Photoshop file as well if you want to and then you can return to the canvas and use the layers to make other textures. So for example I'm going to demonstrate here and what I'm going to do is select a different texture say, um, where's the sun texture, the plain sand, that's a good one. We're going to click on this and drag it onto our canvas. And if we use the layers, when we're in the Photoshop version of the file, we still have the layers. If I now drag the sand underneath the leaf layer, you can see that that has now instantly created a different transition texture. And this can be a very nice, handy shortcut that you can use for quickly creating a whole bunch of transition textures and you might on this version decide that you want to re-blend the leaves a little so that it looks a bit different and you can do that quite easily. So there we have that and that is a really quick easy way you can create lots of transitions using layers. So what we're now going to do is we're going to create a, a different shape transition. So it's very easy to do this. All we want to do is click on our eraser tool again, select a slightly bigger eraser, not quite that big though. And what we're going to want to do is erase this half of the texture. And for this, we're going to create an edge transition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully take the eraser down into the corner as I did previously on the other two corners and I'm going to make sure that half of the texture is sand and half of the texture is the leaf texture and if you very carefully blend it in the corner then you can create a nice transition between the two textures that should match up when you place it in game. And now that we've done that, we're going to take away some of this foliage from this half. And we're going to leave a little bit because we're going to sort of blend it. And there you see, we now have a edge transition texture, which can be very useful. And I tend to do it this way because it's quicker. I start with the half transition and then it's very easy to trim it down to create an edge transition. So I'm going to save and we're going to keep that one. I'm just going to call it sand 2 or something. 
and once again if you save it as a Photoshop file then you can come back in and reuse the layers so I can click and drag let's find another texture here real quick let's do this one and we're gonna click and drag this one into place and now we have virtually instantly created ourselves another edge transition this is why layers are so brilliant they are very very useful and versatile and you will have a layer palette whether you're in Photoshop or GIMP so now we are going to create the final type of transition texture and it's another edge type texture so first of all what I'm going to do is I am going to refine the grass texture I'm going to drag a full version of that back onto our canvas and what we're going to do is hide the original one because we don't need that at the moment and I'm going to drag the sand layer back to the top and whoops I didn't want to do that press undo we're going to check that the grass is positioned correctly and what we're going to do this time is select our razor tool and again being very careful in the corners what we're going to do is drag down a small portion like so and then we're going to select a smaller brush and we're going to start blending the edges and you might see what this is doing we are now creating a sand edge into the grass like so and that is basically it that is now going to give us a narrower edge on the sand once again we're going to save now we're going to open up the t-builder program so I've now opened up the T-Builder program, which I showed in the first TRLE tutorial, Useful Tools and Downloads. And I will once again include the link to T-Builder in the description of this episode. And what this program does is it allows you to load in all your texture files and compile a TGA. So here on the left, we load in our textures and then we can select, click and drag them and put them in the right hand pane which is our full TGA. So here we can see some of the transitions that we created in this episode. So we have the different types of transition. What we have here are the two original textures, the sand and the grass, and then we have the three different types of transition that we created. So the first one was the diagonal transition which is the most common and then we have the two edges we have an overlap between the sand and the grass with a, a small amount of grass and we also have an overlap with the grass and the sand with a small amount of sand and these two different variations will allow you to achieve natural looking terrain and a variety of different shapes in the level editor so that's it for this episode I hope you have found this tutorial useful and once you know how to create your own transition textures it is so useful you can do this for any TGA that you have if it's lacking the particular transition that you want then it's really easy to go and create one and like I said if you don't have the money for Photoshop then GIMP is completely free I will include the link to that in the description as well and finally, my main piece of advice for creating natural looking transition textures is to try not to create straight lines between the two textures. Always try and blur and dapple your edges, which is partly why I used different sized erasers and literally dotted the edge and blurred the edge between the two textures and that way your transitions will look far more natural than if you just draw a straight line between the two textures. Also try and allow a bit of an overlap between the one texture into the other half as you can create some cool effects with this in the editor when you're using the texture triangles. So that's it from me, thank you for watching. And I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing. And if you do subscribe, please do hit the little notification bell so that you're notified if I upload a new video. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. This is Agent XP, TTFN.